All right, so we're here with uh, Tori Whitmore, and um, she is a part of our EXL Live crew. And we see her online, and I guess we've seen her a few times in the gym. She's coming this week, actually, to visit Utah. Um, she lives in California, so I love that we are like, you are our spotlight, you're, you know, states away. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, Matt was really excited to spotlight you this month. So um, yeah, so we're just going to kind of get to know Tori a little bit. So um, Tori, can you tell us how you got started with us at Excel? Sure, sure. So um, Nate and Trina are regular fans of, of Excel and are good friends with Matt. And so I met Matt, I'm trying to think, Matt, when we actually first met, I want to say it was at your other gym in Provo. Did you have a- um, I didn't have another gym. Um, this but is the only had? This is the only gym I've owned, but um, I may have met you at Gold Gym when I was training there. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it would have been through Nate and Trina, but right. regardless, it's it's been a while yeah. that we've known each other. And so then when um, when the pandemic hit, I knew that Matt was doing this Excel Live and I thought it would be a great fit. And what made it really special was having um, Trina and at the time, Britton, um, Trina's sister, my other daughter, who lives in Salt Lake, she had joined as well. So it was fun to have that, not only the community through Excel, but also through my own family that we were all on Zoom together working out. And yeah. so that was really how it all came about was a great alternative to not only just get the training, but also I like the connection through mental work as well. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, okay. So can you tell us a little bit about your goals before, before you started and like after kind of like a little, just tell us about your journey. So um, I feel like I've always loved fitness and like hopefully most people, you know, we kind of go through these waves throughout life. And I was probably at that stage where I was always doing something, but not really pushing myself. So lots of yoga, <laughs> which of course I love and I feel is important, but I feel also that I'm the type that needs a little bit of a push, um, a gentle push or whatever that is and accountability. So my goals at that time was to not let the situation of the world keep me from staying fit. And especially as I'm getting older, you know, really having that accountability and that extra push. So that was really my motivation. Wasn't, it wasn't necessarily like weight loss as much as fitness of yeah. increasing strength training, those kinds of things, which Matt is so great at. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay. So uh, where do you see yourself like in the next couple of years, as far as like goals, journey, like what are you kind of wanting to keep working towards? Probably strength more than anything, just because again, as I mean, I'm going to be 62 in just a couple of months. And so with that, I mean, a lot, a lot of things change, you know, and I see a lot of my friends that are my age or a little older around me and their limitations. Yeah. And um, I don't want those limitations. I don't want my aging to limit what I can do and who yeah. I can be with and where I want to go and playing with grandkids and great grandkids and, and, you know, having the strength, the flexibility and the mindset as well to continue to do what it is that I like to do. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so Matt, I'm gonna have you chime in a little bit because yeah. you've been working out. Uh, let's see, what other trainers? You've probably seen a variety of people with the Zoom, but probably mostly Matt. Mm -hmm. Operate, uh, mostly Matt though. Right? And you did yoga with Kim, right? I did yoga with Kim a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. a couple of times. But. Um, one of the things, like, one of the things I've been most impressed with Tori is one, she's super consistent. Like you were just in what Montana just a few weeks ago, she logs in on XL live. We're able to, she didn't have all her equipment she normally has, but shoot, you were able to do pretty much everything up there. And uh, she just makes it a, a, a priority. Um, I train, we have quite a few clients that are in your age range, Tori, mm -hmm. and every single one of them have some, like you have a wrist issue. 
Um, everyone has little bumps and bruises and, but which could, for a lot of people would be like, oh, I can't work out. I, I'm done. You know, they, they throw in the towel, but you don't let that get in your way. And, and we just come up with workarounds and you've been really good about coming up with workarounds on your own with like, just not even having to ask me, which I'm just like, great. You're, you're like, <laughs> you're awesome. Um, but like one of the things I love about Tori is every time I, I can always count on you for to participate like we do our little cheer challenge at the end and you have great answers you have great insight and like i just respect everything you say like it's just i feel like oh i'm get like and don't i hope you don't take this wrong but like i'm like i feel like i'm getting some motherly advice like from whenever tori talks i'm like i gotta sit down and listen she's gonna she's gonna hand out a gem right here and she does she just it's it's I, I actually, I look forward to our conversations when we do our cheer challenge. And sometimes like lately, well, I don't, we're never, it's never just you and me, but it, our groups kind of, we get, sometimes we have a bigger group, sometimes we get a smaller group, but I always enjoy our conversations. And I'm, this is going to be I, probably the first time in the, in the, uh, when you're coming to Utah, like it's been a while since you've worked, I've worked that with you right. actually, in okay. person. So I'm excited to actually have you in the gym and and it'll be just a little new experience so yeah um so with doing uh thank you matt so i just something that popped into my head with you doing the exl live from a distance like do you, you still feel a part of the gym and a part of like the exl culture and um kind of maybe tell me a little bit about how you feel about that Oh, I totally feel a part of it. And I don't know if it's just because I've been physically in the gym a couple of times. Yeah. Um, it's probably a combination of that. And then with Nate and Trina. Yeah. And the conversations that we have and, and like she's done photo shoots for you guys and has talked about certain people that she's trained with. And one story I remember her telling me, you know, she is, she's pretty competitive as you probably know, Matt. And especially when yeah. it comes to her, standing long jump right talking about how <laughs> there was yeah there was a, a a gentleman that was I think he was a kid some young kid that she was jumping with and it was like she's like I got this you know right <laughs> and I pushed her a little bit right so because I know and and that's genetic by the way <laughs> so we all kind of have that competitive edge a little bit and so yeah I do feel that connection with the group even though I don't know hardly anyone it's, but seeing it's interesting you her. say that because we have quite a few other people in xl live that the only reason why they're doing it, the main reason why they're doing xl live is because their sister or somebody in their family is actually here in the gym mm -hmm. and they've heard about the culture and they just want to be a part of it and we have people in florida we have people in oregon i mean we've got they're all over and they just want a piece of the xl culture and and yeah, which I think is just amazing. Like that we could yeah. actually do that. Oh, it is. And you know, it's like the silver lining, right? With the pandemic. Right, with the COVID, yeah, with the this pandemic. Was, mm -hmm. Yeah. It was one of those silver linings and it works the way that you have it set up. And for me, like I'm so fortunate because I've got an Oh, awesome you got a great setup at yeah. my house. And I've got, you know, I don't even know if you know this, but I keep the computer in the corner of the room and then I airs play it onto my big huge screen tv isn't that cool oh, Billy? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay Corey, i want to see a picture of that i want to include that in our so this like, is i mean this is just my living room but it's literally like a tv the size of that living room but i'll, I'll have to go in and take a picture of the gym but i mean it's not a huge it's just a it's just a room it's just when we remodeled the house we just took one of the downstairs bedrooms and we just turned it into a gym but it it's great because it's huge, you know, so I can right. see everyone else. I can see Aubrey, I can see Matt, you know, I'm looking at the TV, even though <laughs> the, the computer, computer yeah, the camera and everything's over there, yeah. So it's, for me, it's a really, it works as almost sometimes better than if you're in the gym because I literally just walk downstairs, you know. Right. I love that. <laughs> I love everything you just said, but I love that. It's like the Excel in your house. That's like my dream right now, for it's sure. <laughs> Really great. Um, okay, so uh, one thing, oh, I loved what you were saying too about like just feeling a part of the culture and what how you described that. I was, uh, Matt, I have to tell you, I was telling a neighbor of mine 
you know, about Excel. And I had said, if you want a group of just like instant best friends, <laughs> like go, go there because like, no matter what you're going to join and you're just going to have like this group of instant best friends. And so I knew you were Trina's mom and I had worked out with you on EXL live. Um, but like in conversations, I actually didn't even know you lived in California. Um, because we like, whenever, you know, the mention of Tori, it's just, you're here, you're a part of Excel. And Aww. yeah, so I, I love that. I think, I think it's awesome. So um okay so gosh what what advice would you give to someone um that's like new starting out like what what kind of little what little Tory nugget would you give us <laughs> um so probably a couple things one that at the end of our workouts doing the cheer challenge and having like a goal for that week do it do those goals. And not only do they help you grow as a person and the goals themselves, but it keeps you committed to the program. <laughs> right. I feel like it's like a reminder every day. Now I have to tell you, there's many times, cause you know, it's an hour earlier here and I don't have kids at home. So I don't need to get up and be down at seven in the morning, California time, you know? So there are days where I'm just like, Oh my gosh, I just don't want to get up, but you just have to do it. You just have to do it. That's, I mean, you have yeah. to commit and then you do it. There's never, ever been a time where I dragged myself out of bed and I regretted it. Or I mm. felt like, you know, it, I, I could have passed today. It, I always 100% feel better after working out. So I would just, you know, be committed and doing it. Like, you know, Sophie, our other daughter that was staying with us before they moved yeah. to Texas and she joined for a little bit. And I know she's going to come back. I absolutely know. She's just right now, her life is just so crazy. She needs to take a little bit of a pause, but the way that Matt has this um, formatted and how he can zone in on, I mean, he'll, he'll catch me like Tori, you need to turn <laughs> your foot out like a half of an inch. <laughs> what a tea. It's, it's impossible that he can make those corrections, but so it, it instills a lot of trust in me that if I'm doing something wrong, I, you know, I don't want to be hurt. He's going to, he's going to see it. And there's a lot to say about your athleticism though, Tori, like you're not a normal 62 year old woman. <laughs> like you're, you're fit, you're very coachable. Uh, and yeah. So, and you're, yeah, you just take directions. Well, so, but again, yeah, it's, like I said, it's, been it's very fun. nice to, to know. I mean, not always. <laughs> yeah. But usually it's really nice to know that I'm in good hands. You know? good. Mm. Thank you, Lori. I love that. Oh, it's been so fun talking with you. I feel like I can like, just call you on the phone and chat because yes. you just <laughs> <laughs> I can totally see what Matt's saying, how like cheer challenges, he's like waiting to hear. It's interesting how they everyone mentions cheer challenges too. Like, yeah. and, and there's some yeah. weeks that we, you know, people talk, they don't, maybe don't, it doesn't re resonate with them and they don't do it that week, but there's, uh, it, there's bound to be something that's, that people connect with. And as and, I'm sitting here slouched over this table. Right. And I mean, my whole point is I hope I, we, you know, affect people's lives outside of the gym, not just yeah. working out like the whole person. Right. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I love that. And even if people don't like totally get into the cheer challenges, it just puts it in your mind. It does. And even if it's buried deep as a seed, you know, like yeah. it's, you can come back to I, it. I've actually had quite a few people say, you know, like, well, we've had a cheer challenge on, I don't know, well, we'll just use the, the one we're doing this week with posture and they might not do it this week, but then months down the road, they're like, all of a sudden they're motivated. They're like, okay, I'm going to work on my posture. What did Matt, what do we do for that challenge? How did we, and, and they almost do it there on their own. So yeah. it's, that's a win too, you know? <laughs> yeah, totally. That's true. Awesome. I love it. Well, I loved talking with you, Matt. Is there anything else you want to add or? Hi, it was a great conversation, Tori. Great. I love you. I think you're you. amazing. I love having you as a part of our culture. Oh, I love thank training you. you. So thank you so much. I feel exactly the same way. I'm honored <laughs> that I got this opportunity. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Okay. Well, we'll talk again yes. and 
see you at Excel yes. tomorrow. Yes. We'll see you. Right. Well, no, not tomorrow. I don't fly out there till tomorrow. But oh, well, we'll see you online because I don't fly until the afternoon. So I'll be there yeah. online. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. This is just. This is why you're so awesome. Oh. You're so, <laughs> I love you guys. Have a great.